Okay, so let's have a little lesson on, on Etude number 10 by Brouwer. Um, this is a bit of an, a, a little bit of an odd one because um, at sometimes it's very, very angular sounding and then other times it's a little bit groovy sounding almost, with, especially if you add in the slurs. And um, so speaking of the slurs and the articulation, um, you'll notice there's a, some inconsistencies with like tied notes, like sustained tied notes. So they're not tied into anything, but they're just indicated indications to let certain things ring. Um, because they're a little bit inconsistent, I'm generally um, cutting off the sound for the first section of the, of the low bass notes. I'm cutting off the sound in the first section and in the last section, and then keeping it more legato in the inner section. Um, but we'll go through that as, as we look at it. So, starts off pretty straightforward. Just keep that kind of tight, but it can be a little aggressive too. Now, fingering for this passage, it's just a little pattern. Um, for fingering, I'm actually doing A, M, I, M, I, M, I, M, I, M, I, M. So essentially just starting with the A finger, since it's so far away from these chords, and the last fingers I used were P, I, and M. So I play that, and then I start the scale with A, And just alternate I am all the way down. So really, really simple, but the first note with A. So I do that with all those descending scale passages through there. And then all the other ones, um, I'm just using I am. All that kind of stuff, just alternating I am. So fairly straightforward. Um, for this piece, just left hand alignment is going to be really important. can't be moving your hand all, all over the place so you just got to keep your hand fairly still let your fingers do all the work and uh, and then and then it's pretty straightforward you can do it at multiple different speeds it doesn't have to be fast uh, it sounds nice when it's slower too um, but these are pretty angular lines I mean you can try to make them funky but I, I don't know it's like they're just so fast and they're so angular and they're so dissonant that um, they're gonna sound like that. But then these other passages, especially if you add in the slurs, and he's put the slurs in brackets, so I'm guessing he's saying you could, um, you could go more angular with them, but I really, I think they're groovier with the, with the slurs and just more part of the Brower aesthetic, right? Um, especially like those little scoops. Um, and then you proceed forward. Still, I use the AMI here, fingering. I am for those passages. Um, I'm really talking about the right hand fingering so much because the left hand fingering is really like one finger per fret, pretty much. Um, you're always playing the third fret with the third finger and the first fret with the first finger, and it's kind of straightforward in that regard, so there's not much to question about the left hand fingering. You just keep your hand very aligned with the strings, um, not in any weird positions, and, uh, and then you're pretty good to go, right? So um, the only part I let the notes really sustain is at the very last time, as far as the first section and the middle section go, right before the legato section. Um, then I'm letting that just all ring out. Just all sustained. And back to staccato. 
So I cut off those, there's some sustain marks there, but they aren't in the first part, so I cut them off. I don't know if it's an editorial error or if you meant to do it, but um, I just like keeping the outer section staccato, inner section legato. I think it just sounds a little bit tighter that way. Um, I think that's just about it. So uh, then starting next time, we're on to the kind of the new book or the new selection of etudes starting at number 11, which um, take a little bit of a jump in, in the level.